come up with a new one, considering how difficult it is to pass, especially when you're talking about money out. Now, what are these two laws? These are the Climate Change Act and the Disaster Risk Manage Act, Management Act, which are both uh, led by the sen good senator. Senator Biazon, and Congressman, of course, the was the sponsor <laughs> of the NDREAMC. And to everybody else who were involved. And then we came up with another amendment of the Climate Change Act in 2012, which created the People's Survival Fund Board. What are these three important legislation? There's an unprogram one billion under the People's Survival Fund. It is something that doesn't go to the treasury. If you don't spend it, it again, you know, rolls over. The timing would be for disaster risk insurance in the Philippines right now is ripe because we already have this product in place. We have a money that's in program, and according to the DBM, and of course uh, the discussion of the DOF, we can unlock it anytime as soon as we come up with a working financial plan. That's all we need to do. And then we can use the one billion or maybe half of it. We need to test it. It's not a perfect product, whatever they have, the GSIS. Because what we learned in Yolanda is that most of the government buildings need to ask for another amount of money for reconstruction because most of them are not insured. What's the role of GSIS when this is the role of GSIS in the first place? So in short po, testing in na natin. If we fail and we think it's not perfect, anyway, it's just one year and then let's do it the next year. So now in, in January 28, if the DOF and the other member of the boards decide, we have a 500 million ready, we can ask DBM to unlock it, we can pay it, then we can decide whether a parametric trigger of state of calamity or to combine it with rainfall which is also available already. We can do a kind of insurance where we do frequency. For example, if there's 19 typhoons, six makes landfall, three are destructive. We can uh, ask for three premiums of frequency. We can do that. We can even insure the income on an LGU if that's available. If we cannot compute how much will be the insur insurable interest of the particular building, then we decide it on income to make it simpler. So these are all in place, uh, uh, Madam Senator, uh, Mr. President. So. Hopefully, uh, we, we, we're running out of time somehow, but that's the reason why I had to be, came in, even if I'm late, just to share that they were ready. And hopefully, uh, we will have the The Senate President the will respond and give his comments. Thank you so much, Lucille. Thank you.